Thank you for joining me in World of Warships Legends. This is Crazy Man. In my last video, I said I was going down state and uh, my son, my 11 month old, is going to have surgery. Well, the surgery went well. It was an in and out. And we're back home. And uh, sorry about the noise in the background. It's kind of humid here. So the air conditioner is on. But the one thing I said in my one last video is that we're going to have a discussion on the patch notes. And after I watched the patch notes, I watched some of them, some of the patch notes. So uh, we're going to get into it real quick. All right. On this last campaign, we got a Dutch cruiser. So I was figuring we're going to get some Dutches in. You know early access I was kind of wrong um, we're getting early access to hybrid battleship half carrier half battleship and before we continue on that subject the enterprise is going to be the next campaign ship which we're all a lot of people were looking forward to it it's part of the naval history so yes I'm very happy that it's coming in. A lot of people are not, but you got to remember, this is Legends, World of Warships. You know, they're going to get the legendary ships, including the Enterprise. The collaboration between Star Trek, though, is very interesting. I'm very looking forward to that. Um, I kind of wish... It looks like they're doing the next generation uh, Star Trek, but I wish they did the original, but it's okay. When I'm talking about the original, I'm talking about Captain Kirk, Spock, uh, Bones, uh, Scotty, all them. But anyways, enough said. Now let's get to the half-breed chips. And I call them half-breed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... Back in World War II, towards the end, Japanese made, uh, and it's, it's in the history, history books, and if you look it up on uh, History Channel, uh, Japanese made a high-bridge sub. There was three of them, and they were slash carrier. Uh, they could only carry three uh, fighter planes. They did have a hangar on the sub. Uh, they did did three prototypes, like I said. Well, three, they were basic prototypes. They were testing them. Uh, testing them towards the end of World War II. When World War II ended, they scuttled two of them. We managed to capture one, or at least sunk it, and then I'm not, can't remember too much of the story, but found out they did a hybrid. And if it was successful, they could have put those uh, subs by San Francisco Bay and launched three planes and then snuck under the water. And they could have done a lot of damage, believe it or not, uh, during World War II. But the war ended before they got a chance to use them on us. Now, that's a little history lesson. I watched on PC about a year ago, uh, a CC, did a video about these hybrid battleships. I was kind of intrigued. And um, very interesting ships. And I'm very, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I'm looking forward to them. I know a lot of people are not. Um, is it going to be a game changer? Probably. Uh, only time will tell. Okay. But then I was watching Where Are You, Aaron, and he made a point not too long after the half breed ships or hybrid subs came to the PC. So I'm thinking by end of the year, the subs are going to be back 
I mean, going to at least be in the consoles. I know that's not going to be popular, but I want you guys to remember, this is World of Warships, Legends. That means subs played a crucial part in World War I, majorly in World War II, like carriers did. They weren't as popular during World War I, the battleship was. But that being said, I am definitely looking forward to these ships. And yes, we're going to get a new commander for them. Uh, three weeks calendar. Uh, that starts, I think, Monday. Uh, also, a legendary Louisiana, which is a half-breed ship, high, hybrid, of... I'm not for sure how that's going to work yet. Uh, I know, like I, I read some comments from other CCs, and some people, a lot of people are not happy about it. More planes, great, you know. Uh, I look at it; it's a possible game changer. Uh, I know the game was starting to get stale. That's why it was hard for me to figure out what I was going to do for videos. And because everybody's doing everything, same thing, you know, and I didn't know what to do. And now they got new ships coming in. I'm kind of interested in them. Um, the one thing is, a part of it's battleship. You got the guns. Uh how they're going to work in the game, I have no clue yet. Uh, are you going to be able to position, fly the planes? I know you get to fly them, but while you're flying, can you position your ship somewhere where in a strategic planning where you could be in a safe zone? Then when you get back, you get into the guns and start aiming and firing? I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, so there's a lot going on and I'm very interested in it curious let's put curious I'm very curious in how this is going to play out um, there's going to be a new game mode I guess it's called uh, oh I can't remember it sorry when I see it on my next video on Monday night which I am doing a video on Monday night. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what it is. But yeah. Uh, it's not too much I'm going to talk about it right now. I know it's going to be. The way it sounds. It's just only going to be torpedoes. Planes. Not bombers. So. that I know of we'll wait and see to the update on Monday how this is all going to be uh, we get early access to three of them that's tier 6, tier 7 and uh, wait it sounds even tier 8 I'm like okay okay that's kind of interesting you get a you get a crate and you get your tier 8 alright that works that's the way it sounds like I said, we'll see more next week. But, uh, man, yeah, my air conditioner just shut off. It does that. And it's back on. Anyways. So, I am going to be doing videos on these hybrid battleships. Um, I know that one guy in the CC on the PC, when he did his video, he says... It's going to be hard to get high damage with these ships because they suck. Um, I know there's some CCs on the console, Xbox, and PlayStation are probably going to prove him wrong really quick. Uh, I'm almost guaranteeing it. Uh, especially that CC uh, named uh, PG Rabbit, who is by far a beast I mean an absolute beast in this game um, yeah I'm subscribed to his channel too by the way I really love his work 
Uh, you can learn a lot watching him, believe it or not. Um, also Spartan Elite 43. Uh, where are you, Aaron? Zarkoon. I would say Tebow, but he no longer plays World of Warships. And Hive Hound is another one. You can watch his videos. Uh, every one of them you can learn from. But anyways, get back to it. Even some of the CCs are not happy with the uh, hybrid ships coming in. Me, I'm the opposite. I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I really am. I have been for a while. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to the subs coming in. Especially subs. Uh, they're, they're a game changer. Uh, but on the PC, you only get one on each team per game like the carriers so it's not going to be as bad as what people think you're not going to have a lobby for three or four uh, subs um, but I am looking forward to it uh, I know a lot of people are probably going to not like what I just said but it'll be a game changer that's all I'm going to say now how everything's going to play out, I don't know. Only time will tell. But anyways, uh, th that's about it. I just did a short video on this. About the hybrid or the hybrid ships. Battleships that are coming. Uh, I, I don't think I got any more to say right now. To I actually play the ships. And when I do, I'll be doing videos on them. So, therefore, look forward to those because they're definitely going to be coming. Um, no matter if I do good or do bad, I win or lose, I'm going to give you the video. And then, by the time it's all said, then I'll give you my honest opinion on them. Because right now, I'm intrigued by it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to like them in the end. I might just play them a couple times and say, oh, they, they really suck. Or I'm going to say, oh, okay, this is game changer. You know, it might turn the tide a little bit. Uh, but don't think they're going to be unstoppable. You can remove them as easy as you can move any other ship in the game. Remember that. They're not vulnerable. You can take them out. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this little pep talk video of the patch notes. This is all I got for now. Uh, there will be definitely videos flying next Monday night. It's going to be late. Uh, I'm figuring about 10 o'clock or 10.30 on Monday there will be a video. Uh, the rest of the stuff will definitely uh, be forthcoming. So, but the next two weeks, I am going to have some long hours. My wife's going to have long days at work. I'm only going to record Monday, and I'm probably do some videos on Tuesday and pre-videos and put them out later on. Because the next two weeks are going to be hectic. But anyway, so I hope you enjoy this video. And I know some of you say you're going to be happy with what I just said about it but please leave comments down below and if you like the video smash the like and your comments how do you feel about these uh, hybrid ships and everything that's going on and the possibility subs um, sub subscribe to my channel and I'll see you uh, my next video which is Monday until then Peace out.